Hello YouTube and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic, you know that. We're playing Maya uh, and hopefully settling our last few cities without too much conflict. Uh, in this in this city or in this uh, video, we're gonna have to start planning some of our districts, potentially even our um, government plaza sometime soon. Um, so we have, let's see. That's a plus four observatory. This one is only plus uh, two to begin with. Uh, well, assuming we get that plantation ever. Um, this is, I'm going to have to override this tile, aren't I? Oh, uh, no, actually I won't. <laughs> this could be, this is actually, again, a, a, another situation. This is a worse, worse than normal campus. Not only do I need a builder to make it a plus two, but normally it would be plus four right out the gate. So it's a little disappointing. Um, Petra. Theater Square. Plus three at least. Starting to fall behind on the city plants. Yeah, to some degree. I mean, we didn't we don't need too many. But I agree. I mean, we're about to have one here. It's got iron on that tile. And yeah, we're 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 in settler spam mode for sure. There's Bachakuti. Okay, patch of cutie. He sure is a patch of cutie. Let's go ahead and uh, sidle up to this patch of cutie. Let's see if we can make make it nicey nice. Diplomatic victories are easier now with apocalypse mode and soothsayers. What makes them? Uh, what makes them easier? Can you explain that to me? I I, I don't. Oh, because you can force the disasters and force Congress. Brilliant, brilliant. Although although generally, if you were going after a diplo diplo game, you should be playing on uh, disaster four too. But yeah, you you that's that's pretty sweet. Wow, one hundred and sixty four. That's that's a great game. Well done, well done. Uh, Sharp shooters, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. But yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I like it. All right. We are going to switch our policies, but we do want to send out a first envoy. Um, Geneva makes the most sense. I would like first envoys in, frankly, uh, like all of these. But as it stands, I think Geneva is the most important. Their envoys are going off like crazy. So I guess we're not going to get a lot of era score anymore uh, the way I used to, which is just first time suzerains. But uh, hmm. Okay. Any other tiles I want to buy before we're done here? The answer is yes. Go ahead and buy that tile and work that tile. Good, good. Might even want to buy that second one. I have to charge two. Number and thus I can think of nothing witty to say about it. <laughs> Mac Jack, thank you so much, dude. Welcome back for 31 months. I appreciate you. How you been? How you been, dude? It's good to see you. I could buy all the way out to like this, which I kind of need to do if we're going to work towards Petra. But I'd rather the city just kind of grow first. So I'm going to buy that one. Go around that. First anniversary. Thank I love it. Outstanding content. Soft Baggett, thank you for the outstanding support. Welcome back for a full year. So good to have you here. Thank you for that ongoing support. I appreciate it. I appreciate that a whole lot. All right, let's get rid of our temporary policies, uh, as we mentioned in the last video. Settler policy, we still want. Now we can bring in urban planning. We could also bring in inspiration. Great people are starting to go like crazy. Hypatia gone. Profit, profit, profit. Oh, and they're all gone. So I actually missed. Uh, we missed our last profit. Pachacuti got it. So one, two, three, and then that was the first one. Okay, so we miss our religion here. Um, we'll get a little bit of faith out of the rest of that policy. I think it was worth. I think it was worth the uh, the, the risk. 
Um, securing a religion would have been nice. Defending against a particular victory type, etc., etc. Why oligarchy? Because we were fighting early, uh, and I felt like we might have to, uh, you know, have a little dust up here with uh, with 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 Indonesia. Plus, I wanted a spot for conscription. So we'll stay in here for now. Um, eventually, we'll switch into Classic Republic. But I don't think I need these now. We can just run the influence points, keep conscription, colonization, and urban planning. Sweet. Pyramids, too. I mean, I could go double wonder and put the theater square there, potentially. We do always lose Hypatia. I'm never fast enough to campuses. I mean, I don't think I'm forward settling him anymore. Oh, Petra could also go over here. I didn't even notice that. It's a bummer because we have like a plus five holy site there. That's another plus five holy site. The religion stuff would have been pretty decent here. And we are getting forward settled. Maybe this is who we have to fight. Who is this even? Is that him? Is that Pachacuti? No, he's over there. Who this? Oh, is that Scythia? I bet that's Scythia. Oh, that, that, nothing will ever go wrong with forward settling. Having contested borders with Scythia. All right, they're a reasonable city now. They just got Sacred Path. Interesting. Interesting. Do I try to bring my army down here and raise this city? It's a little bit contested. I don't actually know. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, I know there are some horses down south. Don't really need the horses. Huh. All right. So what do the rest of our cities look like? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's only a six Zimbabwe. I mean, if that's the case, we should just take the eight move away from the contested tiles here. We'll lose the deer. I like, like this ivory settle. I know you're supposed to settle next to it. Like, theoretically, we could do that. Pick up most of this. Like, settling one over would theoretically get us, like, one more tile. But she's already got that. It doesn't even. We could try to take this. Should we come raise this city? Man, I don't know. Or keep it even. I wonder if we do a little war later and keep some cities that we take. I could see that being fun. So 
So then one city in between here. One, two, three, four, five, six. City is not super exciting. Can't do that. Can't do that even, actually. Yeah, per usual. Hey, Dead Rust. Really like this city. I think this is a good long term city. But we probably need to be a little bit more aggressive about grabbing these. And I think I go back to my Zimbabwe plan of the city being here. Giving me that observatory for then. Where is their observatory? Yeah, see, this city gets this. You already have yours. You've got yours. You get that one. You get what one? You can get like this one. City doesn't really get much of an observatory. One, two, three. I guess like under the volcano. <laughs> it's just, it feels, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to boo-boo the Maya. I, I think they're a fun conceptual sieve. But it feels so awful to be like, this city has a plus two observatory that I can put underneath a volcano. But if I were a regular sieve, I could have a plus four campus right there, right? Like, that feels bad. That that doesn't make you feel like you've got a good, unique district. It doesn't feel good at all. Multiplayer Civ? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's never my perspective, though. I think I want to buy a builder. I suppose we should do it here with Liang because I want to get these improved. I can also try to wait for feudalism, although we're pretty far away from that. Yeah, see, this is what I was nervous about. Okay, um, it's the first bad unique district. I know it kind of is. Well, Street Carnival. <laughs> We don't know what the June update will be. We're not sure at all, actually. And I still need another city in here. Or I guess I could just not take it. But what are we giving up land-wise? At least the street carnival, is, carnival isn't worse than what it's replacing. I think that's a good point. I think that's a good point. Where are you going to settle this? So three turns and we could fight her. Not really in a good spot for it. Oh, I wanted you to come here. So this is going to be another one that I like have to raise, right? Yeah, I think it's the it's the 30%. So Bosthius, I really like Liang first in games where you're you have like a unique tile improvement like Persia, Cleopatra, uh um Gilgamesh, you know, any of those like early unique tile improvements that you kind of want to spam. I really like Liang early on, and I think Maya is kind of like that being that you're so dependent on builders and charges and stuff, so I think Liang first is not a bad idea for her. 
Fair attempt at something new, though. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I'm not. I'm not criticizing the the theme or the style. Um, I, I I love that it's so unique. I really like. That's my favorite part about this. Is it is so unique. Um, but I, 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 it's also fair to voice stuff that doesn't feel good, you know? Settle my city for me. She's never going to be in, in, in range. Like we're going to have to do another war here. And that's pretty scary considering we're, te we're teching towards Petra and not crossbows. Um, like our science is awful, even though we have a unique district and have built two two of them. Uh. It's gonna be another war here. Yeah, I agree. I think the strength is in the archers, but your archers fall off so fast. Try to go for pyramids here. It's funny that like Earth Goddess now looks like a good choice. I think I think the observatory just needs to have uh have the bonus for being next to a plantation resource and not needing the plantation. Make that change and then it's fine. It still isn't gonna feel good in like situations where this or like this city doesn't have like has a better non one or whatever but the ability to plant bananas or jungle as Maya would be an interesting buff to the observatory yeah but again you're still you're not fixing the problem there for me i think you're you're giving it some top end power but her top end power is decent right her top end power comes from the 10 percent and the fact that you can get good good um observatories the the what holds this back and holds all of her other cities back is the fact that you need a bunch of builders for it so I don't think that addresses my issue of her being crazy slow. All right, so we've got this. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get these last couple cities out. I think we're done. All right, so then, then what do I want? Stuff to prep for war? Well, the late game power in Civ just comes from the like from the fact that you're in late game, right? So yeah, that late game power, um, you're right, is not really dependent on your Civ too much. Um, all right, so what do I want? I guess builders. Feudalism's pretty far. Frankly, need culture. Could go after pyramids. So many chops. Probably just need more units if this is going to be a thing. I guarantee this gets settled this turn. Unless I'm standing on the tiles she wants to go to. Can I steal that settler? So this takes away one tile from our potential Ruhr Valley here in the cap. And I think that is our best city for it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, yeah. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen hills for our cap. So Ruhr Valley wants to be in the cap for sure. Lady Six Guy, yeah, she's a tricky sieve to master. She's also just super land dependent. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Muth. So I th I'm I'm thinking leave this tile then for Rur, and then just move this city here. 
don't think there's a problem with that. Must be blocking wherever she wants to go. Can I explain how I deem a city worthy? Yeah, just count the count the hills like I just did there. So we we if if you have what did I say seventeen hills available, it is a worthy city because rur buffs your hills and mines. Um, so in order to be worthy, uh, you you uh you you just want a lot of hills, mines, quarries, whatever you got, right? Um. So, so the more you have of those, not only is your base production going to be higher, so that 20% boost you get on top of it's good, but then that's 17 times that one production per miner quarry uh, uh, gets applied. So it makes it that much better. And then that, those, that 17 times gets boosted by the 20% as well. Um, so basically just count that. Can you destroy a natural national park? Um, I've never really tried. I've never really tried. I'm not sure. I'd love to know what's over here. Because I know I'm not moving towards bonuses here. I, maybe it is just to settle here then. Maybe this is fine. We give up that. But then gain some land that we don't otherwise have access to. All right. I actually like that. But that's fine. That'll work. Just gonna keep my units here. It seems to be bumming her out, and that makes me happy. Could really use that, Eureka. How do I not have the bronze working, Eureka? Actually, that's gonna be a lie to her, isn't it? What gives the rice uh, one gold per turn? Just the fact that farms for us get one extra gold per turn. I'm kind of far away from this. So that city's coming down here. Ideally, that one's going here, and then I still need this one. Is Canada ideal for Diplo? I mean, as much as anyone can be ideal for Diplo. See, I don't know if we're doing this. I'm a little nervous that we're going to die. She wants to settle right there. So what if I took this city and this city? Oh, I didn't know that either, Bob. You can't remove a national park, and it keeps generating tourism for whoever made it, even if the Civ is captured by another player? Really? I have no idea. I wonder if we can test that somehow. I think we just have to hard tech through that. Need the jungle to be able to be removed. I'm 
He's sending out another settler too. Let's do it. It's the average turn I win by, usually around like turn 220. Pretty typically, anyways. So I think I keep the city and try to take that one too. And then we'll just get one more city over here. Two turns late on the deck. No, no. I like our new plan of just taking this. Yeah, we have a big spreadsheet of all the uh, of, of all that. We could actually find out my exact uh, turn turn time. What? Okay, weird. Weird. I don't know what's happening with that. So it blocks this city though, huh? That's lame. Two, three, four, five. Let's call this six, seven, and then eight, or just eight. I don't know. I don't know if I'm keeping this or not. I was going to keep it, and now I'm maybe more interested in raising it, but I don't know if that's good. That can't be good. Man, don't want to be buying tiles if I'm at war here. Yeah, I guess I should have gone for the settler's steel instead of the uh, city city steel here. Could have had more choice. Yeah, he's not going to like that. I think we just upset the whole world by doing this. It's a river settle, <laughs> which is an improvement by the AI. There's iron. Iron here too. So we actually have iron. Hmm. Hmm. a lot of iron mines. So government plaza there, maybe? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm going to build walls in these uh, northern cities. I'm a little nervous about Teddy coming in. And this settler does no longer have a home. 
So I guess those are my last two cities, and we'll just keep what we have. Wait five turns and run limes. Uh, yeah. I also have conscription running though. I don't know if I can sneak that in. Five turns will drop. We'll, we'll drop uh, this, and then I can run in like unit production. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Yeah, I can theoretically settle this, but why would you want to? Like, here's my problem. Granted, it's only the difference of like one tile, but I was planning on using that as a lumber mill. Plus, this city picks up this as far as production tiles. Like, this city will have one, two, like, has to override hills here. I don't think this city is very good. Like, this is a significantly better city. Not to mention gets to district next to itself if it wants to. I don't know if I'm raising this. I think I'm keeping this and trying to take out the rest of Indonesia. Because that gets me many, many extra observatories. Although I don't see a lot of amazing ones. We're getting late in the game, though. I'm going to start seeing crossbows, and we're going to be in a little bit of a problem. You can place your, your observatory next to the incense, yes. Uh, but currently, I cannot improve these incense tiles, and neither can they. So, again, that observatory is a plus zero observatory. Right? If no one can ever improve these, it stays a plus zero <laughs> campus. Cry, how you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. What's happening? You guys really want to raise it? And we have to decide now. I don't think I can justify the raise. I think the city's fine. It's like it's like pretty close and again if I can pick up this like maybe even just two cities I don't know if I'll be able to do that, though. I think I'm going to take a... Uh, I, I think we'll, we'll go ahead and call this a shorter video. I'm going to I'm gonna take chat's temperature and see what they want to be doing. Um, so if you're watching over on YouTube and you want to be involved in decisions like that, please don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come, uh, come decide whether we raise things and watch the world burn or, or if we don't. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.